Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run, that ye may obtain. 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24. Heaven's resources are limitless, and they are all at our command. Why then, I ask, is the progress of the Lord's work in our world so slow? Why is Christ so sadly misrepresented? Why are not the Lord's followers increasing in knowledge and purity, holiness and power? Are there not presented before Christ's followers the highest virtues to be cultivated, the greatest honors to be gained? God calls upon them to enter upon a race in which everyone may win. He calls upon them to enlist in a warfare in which everyone may be a conqueror. A robe of righteousness and a crown of everlasting life, this is the reward held out before the overcomer. When the Christian takes his baptismal vow, divine help is pledged to him. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit stand ready to work in his behalf. God places at his command the resources of heaven that he may be an overcomer. His own power is small, but God is omnipotent and God is his helper. Daily he is to make known his wants at the throne of grace. By faith and trust, by availing himself of the resources provided, he will come off more than conqueror. Why then should not those who are fighting against the powers of darkness move forward with faith and courage? God and Christ and the Holy Spirit are on their side. When we remember that no one knows when his probation may close, how dare we live unprepared, unready to meet our Lord? How dare we remain sinful and defiled? Why are we not afraid? Why are we not troubled? Why do we not realize our peril? The Lord would work mightily for his people if they would put off the works of darkness and be clothed with his righteousness. God calls upon those who claim to have a knowledge of the truth to show by unquestioning obedience that they are faithful soldiers of the cross. Let not those who stand under the blood-stained banner of Prince Emmanuel do anything that will dishonor the cause for which they are fighting. Christ expects his soldiers to be brave and loyal and true. The work that Christ did on this earth, his followers are to do. With the power and efficiency brought by the Holy Spirit, they are to carry forward his plan for the restoration of the divine image in humanity. The Lord will do great things for them when they work under the Holy Spirit's guidance. They must place their entire dependence on God.